Welcome everybody, kickoff has just come underway here for our first match of CRL Sunday's East Qualifier and St. Clair College Spoon's going to be coming in with a quick goal, seven seconds into the game here. I am here joined by <laughs> Daniel Joven once again, haven't even caught a second right? <laughs> to start here because these Rocket League players so, so explosive today on this Sunday getting into this East Qualifier. Yeah, Sierra, one of the most exclusive and prestigious leagues in all of police esports. You want to get in there, you can make that eventual world's run if you end up having that good of a season. St. Clair, they ended up making a great run at CRL in past years. Unfortunately, they did not find themselves in that position last semester, but already off to this hot start today. Going to be a very long day of Rocket League. Lots of extremely strong teams, former CRL teams, world's contenders. Should be an exciting day. So far, the same tough as this one that yeah, coming up is the Keen University here. They move on to the second round after a DQ from the enemy or from the other team in the first there. Saints having that by. They're just waiting. Waited for Keen to come through here. Now we've got the second round coming through Christian. Close to one, but Red Blur right in there for that save there. So you can see if he can keep some of this pressure going forward. I'm in the one to catch that straight ball there. Double tap. It is going to bounce in. Christian to finish that one off. Yeah, great job so far. The Saints coming out nice and aggressive, firing off a lot of these shots. Something you'd love to see, especially early in this tournament. You don't want to fall behind early. You want to get out to that hot start. Make sure you stay ahead of that eight ball. So far, two goals in just a minute and three seconds. So this is the start they were looking for. And they are, I believe these are going to be best of threes until winner's quarters or maybe like losers round five or six while they get the details later on. So this best of three, winning up this first game, going to put yourself in a very, very nice spot. Yeah, there are just in it now and for the most of this game to be honest as well they have to wait for team he has to put this pressure on try to recoup some of these goals because eventually lead's gonna run away from you goals a lot more than that one in rocket league i feel like the one it's always come backable two is when teams start to sweat yeah, one, all it takes is a fluky rotation. Someone gets that mode, the ball goes off the wall in a certain way, and you can end up with the ball in the back of the net. But yeah, that two, three goal deficit, that's the thing get a little bit trickier, especially when you're playing against a team that, I think the Saints of the 17 seed, Keen University, can get out of lead 112. So the Saints definitely going to be favored in this matchup. So if you're Keen University, you want to try to find this goal. Ideally, in the next 45 seconds to one minute, you're going to give yourself a lot of time on the clock to play around with. Give yourself some breathing room. You know, not really have to worry about that panic to set in too early the Saints. Yeah, not too many defensive positions the Saints have been forced into, and every time they do, it's an easy, quick clear from Spoots or Christian there. And I guess, speaking oh. of Christian, finds two demos, sets Spoots up for an easy, easy goal there. Wide open net after those demos come through. Yeah, that's about as easy as it gets if you're like, <laughs> Christian just completely clearing that net of Raman. Nice little soft touch over there at Spoots there to finish off that job. Now that 3 nothing lead with 2 minutes 40 seconds left. I talked about Keen being the ones to want to get that next goal. Try to get back in this game, but now being down 3 nothing, you're going to have to start to take a couple chances. I think really try to get off that back foot defensively. You have to start at least trying to get shots like that. They haven't really had an answer to these things on them. Yeah, I think that's been the big issue here. Like, do keep in mind, we've got essentially still half the game left here. 220 about to hit on that clock there, but Keen very little time in this orange zone of the Saints. Now they're finally getting something set up. Red Blur not necessarily going to have that angle as Spoots is right up there to contest in the air with him. Indemnity, like none of them can find that, that perfect angle that they need to kind of cut the shot right now. Spoots gets to take it high. Red Blur to knock that one out, but Raman's waiting for it in the corner there. Yeah, and even when Keen has gotten that pressure in some of the Saints, so they just seem to kind of, you know, not be able to either find the passing plays, they can't possess the ball long enough to kind of make these plays. They maybe found those one or two, like, one-off kind of pop shots, but nothing consistent. And now with this clock, it's slowly but surely draining away against their favor. They're going to have to find something. They're going to more than likely have to find it quick. The Saints, though, still not relenting in this offensive zone, which I kind of like to see if you're up 3 nothing, You want to make sure you don't need to win by goal differential necessarily, but you want to make sure you stay hot. You don't want to get complacent. And just like that, Christian can find his second goal of the game there now. 4 nothing lead, minute 30 on the clock. If you're Keene University, you're more than likely looking to game two. Yeah, 4-0 at this point. A minute 30 on the clock. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's tough. It's a tough one to start, especially on your first game of the day there. But keep in mind, this is a best of three. You've got more games in the series to come through. But right now, St. Clair looks like they're going to take this one away. I mean, a minute 20, it's just 
it's just not enough time sometimes in the league, and that's just the explanation. There, although Keen still holding it down here in front of the net, still blocking any more Saint shots that are going to come through as best they can, but four goals, they just got to try and find maybe one or two just to get the gears turning into that second game. Yeah, Spoon's trying to play this one out of the defensive end now, seeing what he can maybe cook up over this midline. Christian waiting in the wings, seeing if they can maybe find some kind of passing play, some kind of set play, or the Saints look like they want to find another one, and that's going to be a hat trick for Spoon's in game one. 5 nothing lead for St. Clair so far. They are off to a blazing start so far. Exactly what they were looking for. And look at Robin doing the dirty work in the crease there. Clearing out that goaltender. Wide open net for Spoods. And now the Saints just completely dominate this first four minutes. And now that I think about it, we haven't really touched on uh, the fact that Robin's on the field right yeah. now. I mean, St. Clair coming into this new semester. Going to have a slightly switched up roster here. You've got Spoods coming back onto that main roster there. Christian staying in and Ramen coming through to line up that main three that are going to be coming in for presumably the rest of this season here. And right now, I mean, you see the team working nice and well. They're nice and warmed up and uh, working together. Yeah, that goal, I think Christian maybe could have stole that goal from Spoods and got his own hat trick if he wanted, but gonna let that one walk in for Spoods. Spoods ends up finding his fourth goal of the game now, up to 6 nothing. My only question now is, are we going to see the Brazil at some point this game? St. Clair, they look like they are striking for it. Five goals for Mr. Spoods in the game one. Seven nothing lead for St. Clair right now. Spoods having an absolute dominant performance, just finding the back of the net any which way right now. 29 seconds left in the game. St. Clair, it is all but over at this point. Yeah, at this point, the uh, Spoods and Christian, they're testing out angles in the net there at this point. But Keen, just going to have to look towards game two. You reset that score to 0-0 zero, zero and just try to find what you can. Spoods bound at the 6-1. I mean, I guess if there really is goal differential here, Spoods making sure it is secured. We've got uh, interesting stuff coming through. Got wrong wrong game might be, yeah. League players, dirty yeah, league know. players. In wrong league, my exactly. friend, uh, to say the least. But exactly. I will say, though, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think that we've seen anyone score six goals in one game on the broadcast. I think we've seen guys get to four or five goals before. I don't know if I've seen someone get that double hat trick, but Spoots, six goals. The Saints, eight total in this game one. Still have to finish out the series. They're going to have to try to go play this game too. Hopefully, if you're Keen University, you just forget about this one. You chalk it up to maybe it's a bad day on the pitch. No. It'll be almost a little touch on the net there. Ball not going to find the back of the net. That's going to be one game up for St. Clair. Again, 8 nothing. Just look at the shots. The shots tell the story. 16 to 1. Yeah, six goals, eight shots there for Spoods. <laughs> Just having some fun at the end there, to be honest. I mean, you come through. When you're that far up, it's just, you know, I mean, you've got the momentum to come through. But coming into this next game, Saucer, Red Blur, Indemnity, the this, this squad's really got to step up to the plate. I think the main thing is that first, like, you know, that first minute there. It's really important to really get that, that puck on the ice. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotta get pucks on nets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dump and chase and all, all the good, all the good triages there. But Keen University now stepping into game two on the pitch. Basically, eliminate game one from your brain. Act like it never happened. You come in with that fresh mentality. Maybe try to get something going early on. At least you have to put the ball on the net. One shot, no matter who you play against, is never going to get the job done. You have to find some way to break through that Saints defense. More importantly, find some way to get out of their own defensive zone and try to maybe get this early goal. Maybe a good early attempt there from Red Bull. Second attempt just to be wide of the mark for the Saints. Here's what I'm seeing now, you know, that there's not this already full deficit on the board. Keen, a little more comfortable to get in there and start throwing shots at this net while they're not worried about an even larger lead being lost. And now, you see the way this team is working. Clear it out, clear it out, get in front of the net. Christian's going to be able to tap that one, but Saucer would be good for a contest. It's actually going to go right over the car there. Indemnity really the only one here for defense, but it is going to be knocked out of the net. That Keen so far, I mean, we're 45 seconds in, a much slower game than we saw that first time. As, he, as you said, I think it was a two or maybe 
goal deficit in that first minute. So Keen University has battened down the hatches significantly better already in this game too. Now the question remains though, can they get it going on offense? The defense seems to be at least a little bit better. I mean, they haven't been scored on yet. They've gotten some chances. That's gonna be a nice little bump and the shot's gonna go through as well. And Keen is actually going to draw first blood in this game too. It's gonna be indemnity finding the back of the net and that's exactly what the kind of start they were looking for. This is what I'm talking about. I, I don't think this squad is necessarily a squad that's going to get 8-0 every single <laughs> game. I think they had a, a rough first game, and they really just needed a mental reset getting to the second one. The main thing was just that 0-0 reset. Get back to the yeah. point where, you know, you're comfortable to be able to make this attack, and you can already see ball straight into the same zone. They're forced to clear it out with a wide one. Give it right back to Saucer for a setup. Comes through the air. Christian's going to be there on the defense. Not to be again, but... Red Blur flying right past that ball. No boost left. Indemnity setting it up towards the middle. Goals by Christian, but this is a wide open one for Christian. It's over to the corner, however. So should be able to clear that one. Almost finding the mark there. Not going to quite get there. Now the question remains, though, can they hold the lead? And just as I say that, Raman is going to bury that one, even up this game at once. Just a nice little touch, nice little pass there. And just the floater from way downtown. Three cars. Don't make contact. That's not going to be an issue for the Saints, though. As I said, they're evening up this game. Now at once, that lead that Keith University worked so, so hard to build. They finally break through, and they give it right back just moments later. Now they have to work even harder to try to make sure the Saints team plays off. That's, that's one of those goals that's like so clean, yet so anticlimactic right. at the exact same time. You see three cars flying for it, and no one ends up getting that cut. But nonetheless, St. Clair now back to this game 1-1. One, one. Looking to make this a 2-0. Oh. Yeah, demos traded out from Saucer and Christian. I don't have to on two here, but you're back up from Keen. Saints member just have to get that rotation going. It's coming in from the skies. Can he cut the oh, angle right? Oh yes, he can. 2-1 for St. Clair College here in game two. Smooth with an excellent shot. The reads the angle perfectly, puts the just right, but puts the right amount of spin on that one. Tucked into the corner, nice and tight. That is going to be a 2 1 lead for St. Clair. That's going to be Spooge's seventh goal of the series at this point. That six goal performance he had in game one. Now finding the board once again in this game, two in the Saints. You can tell they're trying to get on that aggression. Now they're trying to start making these plays. They want to make sure they get this extra goal lead and try to bury Keen, but they will have other ideas. Reds were going to bury that one just maybe 15, 20 seconds later. Now we have a high ball game once again. What a great pass from the corner there. I believe that was Saucer set that one up on the assist and Red Blur grabs that ball perfectly, sets it up for that goal, evens it up halfway through the game. We are 2-2 here, Jobin. This is anyone's game right now. Keene University out of the series just yet a rough first game, but really coming back, really showing their colors, showing their prowess here in the league. How can they find the second one? Indemnity down the middle. He's blocked there by Spoot. Indemnity finds a demo as well. They have to clear this ball out of their zone. Yeah, and the important thing for Keen too is just keep the game close. When yeah. the game gets to three, four, nothing, it's like theoretically, yes, you can come back, but more than likely, the game is going to be out of hand at that point. At this point, though, Spoon's getting a little bit of fancy with the footwork there. Second touch for Christian. Gonna send that one to the center, and the pass is true. Raman, second one of the game. Now, that is a beautiful textbook pass right into the middle of that crease, and that's gonna be the Saints taking the lead once again. Keen, you have a minute 51 to try to find the answer. Will they be able to do so? Great angle off of that one, Keen. Now only one goal down still, and like you said, it's the main thing is just not letting that lead run away from you, right? As yeah. long as you're keeping it one for one every single time, at least when it comes down to those 30 seconds, you're not concerned about trying to make some impossible miracle three goals, right? You're, it's okay, guys. We gotta find this one goal in 30 seconds, and it's very possible. Now, Saints trying their best to make that not happen, trying their best to make this a 2-3 goal lead, but Saucer not gonna allow it to happen just yet. Takes it down the middle there, and it's keen team, very keen on uh, contesting this ball here. Well, it would appear that way. Saucer, see if he can get something going over the middle here. Nice little touch to the middle, the pass oh, okay. is good, and Indemnity gonna find that goal, his second of the game as well. That is a very strong play from Keen. You wonder, just like, if they can get this going maybe a little bit earlier in some of these games, I mean, the, the, you know, clearly the skills are there. It's just getting it consistently and finding these chances this game too. They seem to have really found their footing. They're kind of settled in a little bit. And I mean, hey, a minute 13, as you said, this is anyone's game. One lucky bounce, and you can see either one of these teams taking this. 
seriously like a minute five left on the clock essentially as Christian is now towards that corner. With Saucer in the corner to the side. Raman's able to grab that one actually and the longer Saints can just sit in this zone, the better it is for them in the end. Look at this time just being come out from the clock. Saucer on the corner. It's only Raman to contest this one towards the middle, just ping pong back and forth from both these teams. Neither of these teams gonna let it get close to them. Yeah, these teams are playing very, very even this last minute or so now into 30 seconds before potential overtime on the horizon. Both of these teams still looking for the answer here, trying to break through, take this lead, maybe steal this game away. The Saints, they won game one. Oh, and the Crawler's gonna go the entire length of the pitch. Raman with a hat trick. Fourth on the board for St. Clair, 20 seconds left in the game. Unfortunate circumstance, they're gonna take that goal, potentially take the series as well. They are mere seconds away. Keen, they fought so hard, they battled. They just potentially might fall short here. They still have a little bit of time to work, maybe make something happen, but you know that one has to stay. 15 seconds on the clock, it is possible, but with Christian and all of that pressure coming down, how do you stop a bouncer like that? Raman is the one to tap it in the end. Look, bounces like three times in front of the net here. Raman taps it in, finishes that one off. Fourth goal of the game there for Raman. Keep in mind, this is his uh, varsity debut here. Comes in, dropping four in the first series. After uh, after Spoots dropped six in yeah. game one, keep that in mind. Yeah, Spoots said, hold my beer. He's like, yeah, I'll talk to you when you have six goals in one of these games. But as that game two wraps up the Saints, a much, much closer game two. They will knock off Keene University, though. They will continue their winner's bracket run in this CRL East qualifiers. Spoods, six goal performance in game one. Raman, four goal performance in game two. The new look varsity team for this semester already looking pretty strong on the pitch. Uh, we will be back after a short little break when this next round starts, once we get opponents locked in and everything. But nonetheless, you do not want to miss it. CRL Sunday coming back to you in a short after a short break.